today I got all the feedback for LKZ, which is the story about the kids who find an ancient kingdom that had a spell placed over it and they try to restore the kingdom. Um, and it's been a bit tough. <laughs> I've kind of set that aside uh, because just based off the feedback I've gotten, if you saw my other video, just realizing, you know, there's still a lot more to do. And I kind of suspected that, but I just didn't know how much was me maybe not thinking it's good enough and it actually not being good enough. So there's still things that I need to fix. It's a tough journey being a writer, it's a tough journey. But like I said in my writing journey video, I'm more focused on making my writing better. And with that feedback, obviously, you know, there is potential and they didn't say the story was bad. It's just things need to be fleshed out, like the motivations especially, and they are a bit weak. So I'm gonna work on those things to make them stronger so that next time the feedback is not focused on those things, so. So I'm back home from brainstorming and I have come up with a way to save this book, probably. <laughs> I have split it into three sections. I have discovery, confrontation, and action plan, okay? Right now I'm working through what scenes I would like to keep and how I can modify it into being more suspenseful because a lot of my beta readers said that the first 50 pages or so kind of lagged. It was a lot of slice of life, but not a lot of suspense happening. So I want to change that. And I have come up, well, I haven't come up with these scenes, but so far in the discovery section, I have written down what scenes I want and what's gonna happen in them. Some of them are pretty, like, much the same scenes, but I'm just going over the character motivations because that was another issue. And so far, I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm adding suspense, but I guess now I'm wondering where the rivals go from here and um, even the kids. So I've made good progress, still need a lot of thinking and just making sure I'm really hitting the points that my beta readers made in their feedback. Even though I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. I wanted to save this for June, but you know what? Why wait another week when inspiration is hitting right now, right? Okay, so I figured out why the rivals are so concerned about the kids restoring the kingdom. Before, so basically there's this person who's very powerful who can delete the rivals' entire existence. And that is why they're so motivated to stop the kids. But I think my problem with the last draft is I didn't flesh out how restoring the kingdom actually affects the rivals and why they thought that restoring the kingdom would delete their existence. That like middle piece was missing. But I think I have something to put in there to show why they are so scared of 
what the kids are doing. Not just the kids, but now a different character. Because that character is strong. And so if that character rises to power and they don't contain that character, that character will facilitate their end, basically. That's well, that's in their mind. Is that how it plays out? We'll see. But in their mind, they're thinking, oh shoot, there's this person and possibly this other person. They might be on the same length that if we don't contain them, they're going to use their power in a way that will delete our existence. That is their motivation for stopping the kids. The kids, what is their motivation for restoring the kingdom? Is it just because of that strong character? I'm thinking of adding an element where that strong character is in trouble and restoring the kingdom is one way of helping that character get out of the trouble that she's in and i like where it is going right now so now i'm just gonna flesh out the kids motivations of why they even would want to help her other than they're gonna try and like the rivals are coming against her so that's what i'm working on next Hello everyone, and last night, I almost finished the new plot for LKZ. Today, I'm trying to tie up the end. I'm reading it over again, and I like it, okay? Last night, I think I was getting too deep into it. What is that phrase? Uh, seeing the, can't see the trees from the forest, something like that. I think that was my issue. I was thinking so deeply into all the details. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so jumbled. I don't like this. It's not flowing well. And then I'm reading it today and I like it. So it's just the ending is starting to get all crazy because I'm trying to do something. And I'm realizing that this scene that I really want to keep, I just don't think that I will because I don't know I think it'll be I think in my other three drafts or I guess the last draft really this other character kind of comes in and saves the day even though the day was already saved and it's just kind of like oh this random person just comes in and kicks everybody's butt but what if that character came in earlier and did that Instead of putting the other characters in a position where they have to, like, fake it till you make it, why can't the person with the actual power just do the thing? And just save the other stuff for the sequel. What's tough about revisions is letting go of things that you really liked in the book. A lot of the scenes from my first three drafts I'm not using. And to be honest, they're, they weren't necessary or they just, I'm doing it better. But they weren't necessary. I like the scenes themselves. The scenes themselves and how it was written to me isn't a problem. I'm just realizing 
it's not really feeding into the plot the way it should. And I hope that this new plot, I just hope it's more cohesive. And I think it is. But I won't know until I write it. And my plan for the month of June is to write at least one scene or one chapter a day. I'm hoping to finalize this today, and I think I can. I have a really interesting story here. I just have to make sure I tell it right, you know? I just have to make sure I tell it right. So, I think I'm done. I think I am done writing out the new plot. I just put them into chapters, very loosely, what I assume will be a chapter. And it came out to 32. The last three drafts, well, draft three came out to 41 chapters. And this one is 32 chapters. Of course, there are some parts where I'm just gonna like, I wanna try to have longer chapters, okay? But I'm just, that's 11, that's an 11 chapter difference. And I did take out a lot of things and kind of combine scenes together. Cause there are just too many little scenes, little, little scenes here. This, Things needed to be more compact, you know, and I think I've done that. So, yay me. I'm so tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. And I've completed what I wanted to complete today. Which feels great. So, I'll see you on another day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, comment below, and come back again. Bye.